Do footballers need to be given more rest? What? <laughs> Rodri tells Pep, I need a rest. But he spoke in an interview very recently and said, it's not healthy, I admit, I do need a rest. You play every three days, play with everything and not rest. If you're playing for a successful team, you're expected to go deep into competition. That means you're a successful team. A human being cannot sustain for a long, 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 long time. Play every three, three, four days. It's a demanding league, a very physical league. He's being honest. You like this? Remember what who sang it? Do you remember Daniel who sang it? Beddingfield. That's right. Uh, you just heard from Shabana Hunt, Stuart Pierce, Pep Guardiola. They had their say on Man City midfielder Rodri, who's come out and said that he needs a rest after playing 3,497 minutes this season. That's football, by the way. Uh, if you want to have your say, you can. 03717 A lot of people have already phoned up wanting to have their say. So let's have a, a quick chat about it yep. and then we'll go to the phone lines. I'm always surprised when I hear professional sports people come out and say, I need a rest. Why? Because he's 27 years old, so he's very, very young. Incredibly young. Not very right? young. He's very... 27 is he's, he's very young, right? He is a sports person. So it's not like it's me that has one day decided I've woken up and I'll give it a go. I'll have a go. Game of football. See what happens. He's He's been this level of physical yes. perfection for a long, long time, right? Let's just say 14, so 13 years. Half his life he's yeah. been in peak, in peak physical condition, right? So he's going to be fit anyway. He, you tell me what a day of training is. How long are you training for? I think it all depends, though, because different days you do different things. I know, but a, roughly. A, a normal day, you'd get in for, like, maybe 9.30. You start training at maybe 10 or 10.30. Finish your session about 12. Out and some off. lunch, and then after lunch, you'll probably do your gym stuff, your proprioception, and, you know, your bike and your stretches and your different things that are specified okay. for you. What time are you going injuries. Probably about... 2.30. Okay. And in that time, you've done 90 it's tough, minutes. mate. Oh, it's not... <laughs> Have you, you've had a physio come in and give you a massage? Yeah. Okay, let, let me explain something to you, though, right? Honestly, mate. Rodri has played 28 Premier League matches, Champions League seven matches, Club World Cup two matches, Super Cup one match, Community Shield one match, FA Cup two matches, and for his country, Spain, he's played six matches. That's a total of 47 matches so far. And if they went all the way in every competition... Since when? Since August? Since August. Yeah. August, September, October, November, December, five. And where are we for? Okay. So nine months. How many games? 47 matches. So nearly 15, nine months. Okay, but most teams would have played... Most teams who are in all the competitions that Manchester City are in probably played maybe 35 by yeah, now. he's a footballer. Caught. Okay, let me finish. But he's saying he needs a rest because he knows how good his team is. And he probably thinks, you know what? When you go all the way to the Champions League, all the way in the FA Cup, Every game till the season in the Premier League, they could play 13 more matches. Oh, let me get that violin out. What I'm saying, he wants to be at his yeah. peak. He's everywhere. Yeah. Andy, he's the best. He's, he's so important for their team. He's everywhere. He's here, there. And against Real Madrid, it was the one time I watched Rodri and he wasn't at it. He was giving the ball away a no, lot. He's, he got 90, he's got, sorry, I was going to say he's got 90 minutes. He's got 45 minutes twice. And I say that because he's got a 15, 20 minute break at half time. But he's stiffened up at half time anyway when you went during a game. He's 27, he's not 97. It's a, it's a lot of football. Oh, he, he's he, not he could, play, he could play 60 matches this season. You don't think that's a lot of football? How many matches do tennis players play? They, they will play a three and a half. They will play a three and a half hour tennis match, finish it. I'm, 10 sure, they at night, will, I'm sure they and, will say they're tired. And play the next day. But I'm sure they will say they're tired. If they wasn't get if they was getting paid as like a season, not every tournament they're playing, I'm sure they'd be like, I'm tired. Can I miss out this? You ever get tired? Would? 100% because even when you're young and you're 20, 21 you're still going to feel it on your legs we we, we, were, we we were top four right for three seasons in a row and we finished six I said it right then didn't I um, because we sort of got tired even when you're in your 20s early 20s you still burn out and you you, you start the end of the season you know what I mean you're not at it as you was at the start of the season let's take some phone calls 03717 Andy's first up he's a Man City fan hi Andy good afternoon good afternoon Andy Good afternoon, guys. Pleasure to speak to you both. You oh, all right? That's cool. Yeah. yeah, we're very well. How are sort you today? Sort him out, Andy. Can you sort Andy out, please? I'll try my best. And Andy, before you do, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a head of call suite for a manufacturer. All right, how old are you? I'm 43. How many days a week do you work? Five. How many hours a day? 10 to 12. All right. You ever, you ever had to phone your boss up and ask for a day off because you're tired? <laughs> no. Okay, carry on. Um... One thing I will throw into the mix, which is probably a little bit different this year, and I agree with everything that Gabby's just said then, is 
the, with VAR now we'll stop starting the games, the wear and tear on the bodies and the extra time getting added on now is greater than ever. And it's 50, he's playing in high intensity games. Man City are known for the high press and he's pivotal for that. So I understand why he's saying he's tired and this isn't anything new, but it just shows, again, it drives us the importance of Rodri to the team mm-hmm. that he cannot be dropped. I mean, everyone else seems to get rotated except for Rodri. I, I totally agree I mean, with what Andy says because Calvin Phillips was sort of brought in, wasn't he, to like yeah. give him a chance to rest, but Calvin Phillips couldn't play the Pep way. So Pep's had to play him in every competition, every game. And it's why we're looking and thinking like, De Bruyne's getting a rest, Foden's getting a rest. You know, and he's just playing every single game. Uh, let's speak to David. Thanks, Andy. Let's speak to David, a Chelsea fan. Hi, Dave. How are you? Good afternoon, David. Hey, hey how are you, fellas? Yeah, you tired? You had a long day today. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving back from Reading. So, yeah, I've had a long day, but yeah. I'll be all Have a right. day off I'll tomorrow. It, have a know. day off, Dave. <laughs> I have tomorrow, for the leader. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> See, he said he's tired, so he's boss. <laughs> Go on. Hey, look, there's, there's only one person that's at fault here, and that's Guardiola, because he keeps, and keeps on picking him. You know, Guardiola and Klopp were the two main people that were pushing for five substitutes. And when you look at it, Guardiola uses less substitutes than any other manager in the Premier League. Mm. So he's only got himself to blame because when Rodri's injured, he's then not available. So you, you, it's up to a manager to manage his players. He's got 25 guys for the Premier League. He's got 25 guys for the uh, Champions League and so on. Well, start using them. But he doesn't. But don't you think, though, he's so important to the team that he can't rotate him? Well, well, he's going to have to accept then. He's mm. going to get an injury and he's going to be unavailable for a few weeks or a couple of months because it will happen. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. You know I what just, I don't get, though, I just, Andy? I have a real problem with football. But you know what I don't get, though? Why, why say it? Yeah. Say to your manager behind closed doors yeah. and the manager will probably say, OK, I can rest you this game. Maybe looting on the weekend. That's the one game I can rest you. Like Arsenal did. They rested, was it Rice, Saka? They rested yeah. a lot of players, didn't they? Or just... Don't say it don't say in public. Or just say I've got a little niggle. Yeah, we don't have to make, hurts. Yeah, we'd have to make that up. Like, mm. you, you, you should be able to have the trust. And Pep loves him, he's his main guy. Go and see the manager, Gaffer, I'm feeling tired. You know I mean, I don't want to get an injury now because I'm so tired. And then I'll get in an injury that misses, like, big games next week's game. So can I rest on Saturday and not play? Mm. I, don't know, I know what you're saying. You're, you're, you're sitting there now looking at me like, what? Rest? Old school managers like Fergus say, get out. Do you mm. mean, I'll do you a favour. I, I, I'll, I'll do you a favour and say, like, you know what, have a month off then if you need a rest. Yeah. I will never say, come on, they're earning 150 grand a week. The, yeah. the amount of money they're is irrelevant. That, yeah, the amount of yeah. money is irrelevant. It's not their fault they're earning crazy money. But what I will say is that a 27 year old sportsman in the, in the prime of his life, I find it very difficult. He's, he's playing two games a week maximum. He's got a physio, he's training an hour and a half a day maximum. It's, it's a great life, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah, listen, it, it, it's 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 a great life. Yes, we understand that. But Rodri's saying it for the reasons of like, you know what? I can feel my body. If I carry on playing every minute of every game, I'm going to get injured. I'm going to miss out on okay. semi- well, that's a different way of semi-final it. of a Champions okay, League. Okay, I get that. I don't think he's saying it as if like, oh, he wants to pop away for a few days and get a holiday. No, I don't think he's saying it like that. He's still going to be in and around the team. Or maybe, you know what? One game. Hey, listen, if his body is feeling it, I get it. Yeah. Right? Because his body's going to break and you don't want that happening. Exactly. But if he's physically tired from playing too much football, I don't get that. Yeah, I think he's probably like, when he says tired, he means like, oh, hamstrings are tightening up, my calves. So I feel like something's going to go. As a footballer, you know. Oh, I, I can understand. So what they used that. to do, right? When I, when I, um, under Tim Sherwood, we had these American sort of physios. And every Monday after a game, you had to go and do a test with them. And it was like a touchy toes test or, or a machine between your groins and you're testing your strength for your groins. So these different tests you did. Mm. And they would determine if you trained or not. So they would have a list of people who that in Sherwood? No, no. Oh, his, his physios right. that, that were in there that were brought from an American company. And they would say to Tim Sherwood, so and so has flagged up. So instance, Gabby has flagged up for an injury. That means they can predict that. If you go and train, you're going to get injured. Yeah, I get that. So Sherwood would be like, oh, okay, oh, how many more? How many more? So you might be out without five or six players for yeah. the Monday training session. Okay. Can you, you, t- t- can you touch your toes? No, 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 no. Not a chance, mate. No. Maybe touch Have- my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Have I you- could touch somebody bending my knees. Can you touch my toes for me? <laughs> <'Cause I'm- laughs> Talk sport.
Top Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.